Hello guys, welcome back to the channel today. Today we're going to talk about bonding and installing a ground plate or system ground or whatever you want to call it for the house for an electrical service. Um, so I'll flip you around and show you what we're doing. Got a wire, uh... Okay, so what we have here is we have a piece of number six ground wire coming out through the bottom of the house or the foundation and we have a ground plate. So by code we need to be in there, uh, down there two feet. Obviously this is a lot deeper than that, uh, but we're taking advantage of the trench that's opened up. And the reason that this trench is opened up is because they replaced the main uh, water line which was copper coming from the road. Um, and that is now poly. So now the, the consumer for this home has lost their their system ground or their bonding. So we're going to stick a ground plate in there and Chris is going to strip it. So basically it's pretty simple. We just have a piece of uh, number six RW90 uh, stranded copper wire which is the size that we need here for our electrical service and this is either for a 100 or a 200 amp service. And we're just going to stick it onto the clamp. And literally, this ground plate just gets buried. Now, you can do this with a ground plate or you can do it with 10, two, two 10 foot ground rods. Uh, when we do it with two 10 foot ground rods or electrodes, we usually bury it uh, with a jackhammer because they're quite hard to bury. Uh, and they need to be 10 feet apart. So the, either method is acceptable, either this method or uh, the method of, uh, of using the, uh, the two ground rods. And there you go, just lay it in a trench, make sure it's flat and it's, uh, it's actually on the ground so there's no air gaps and then that, uh, that uh, gets backfilled. So that's it for this end and we'll show you in the house. Okay, so here now we are in the basement taking the main electrical cover off and exposing the mains. And remember guys, just a little disclaimer, you should never do your own electrical work. This video is just for entertainment purposes only. You should always consult in your own local electrician just like in all of our videos. Um, so we're just going to show you basically how we do it. So here in um, our neck of the woods, we've come through with the ground wire, you can see here, um, which is now, uh, you can see the water line is now the polypropylene and the ground is now copper. So we're going to run that up and we're going to run it right into the main neutral on the mains of the service entrance, which is 200 amps. So this is the first point of attachment and this is where it needs to go on. Uh, so I'll let the guys do that and get through that knockout there. This is the old one, as you can see. We're going to remove that and replace it with the new one. We've rerouted our wire up through the wall, and we've got it into the main compartment. So next, what we're going to do is we are going to shut the power off, and we are going to put it in underneath the neutral bar to replace that old one. All right, remember that's live. The reason we do this is to take any load off of the main conductors coming in so that we don't uh, don't cause any arcing or sparking on the main ground. And again guys, remember we're certified electricians, so don't try this at home. There we have it. We can turn the power back on. And now we'll just remove that old wire and put the cover back on. And there you have it. Our cover's back on. We're all put back together. And that's how we do a system ground. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.